这首歌曲是由 Krishna 的歌，名字和他的嗯，消时光以及他的化身的嗯，然后构成的这个歌曲。这首歌非常优美，我们可以嗯定期的来歌唱，尤其是在清晨。一起来歌唱主会上的盛名吧。Yashoda do la la, Govinda go pala. Prinda vana puranta hara. Yashoda do la la, Govinda go pala. Prinda vana puranta hara. Go 
गोपे प्रिया जन्ना राधिका रामना पवन सुंदर भोरा प्रिया जन्ना राधिका रामना पवन सुंदर भोरा रावण था कर मखन तस्कर गोपी जना वस्त्र हरी रावण था खरा मकन तस्कर गोपी जना वस्त्र नवीन ने राजा रूपा मनोहरा मोहन वंशी बिहारी नाविन ने राजा रूपा मनोहरा मोहन वंशी बिहारी योगेन्द्र बंदना श्रीनंद नंदन प्रजना भया हरी योगेन्द्र बंदना श्रीनंद नंदन रज जना भया हरी खादंब खान रसा पराय वृंद विपिन निवासी दंब खान रस पराय वृंद विपिन निवासी आनंद वर्धना प्रेम निकेतन प्लस रो यशोर नंदन कांस निशूदन निकुंज रास यशोर नंदन कांस निशूदन निकुंज रादंब खान रस पराय वृंद विपिन निवासी द 
ಕದಂಬಕಾನಸಪಾರಾಯಣ ವೃಂದಿ ನಿವಾಹಸಿ ಆನಂದ ಪಾರ್ಜನ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಿಖೈತನ ಆನಂದ ಪಾರ್ಜನ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಿಖೈತನ ಶ್ರಯೋಜಕಾಂಗನಾಗನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗುಣಘನ ಪಂಗನಾಗನ ಚಿತಾಧನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗುಣಘನ ಜಾಮೋನೀವನ ಕಿಳಿ ಪರಾಯನ ಮಾನಸ ಚಂದ್ರ ಚಕೋರಾಮೋನ ಜೀವನ ಕಿಳಿ ಪರಾಯನ ಮಾನಸ ಚಂದ್ರ ಚಕೋರಾ ಶುರಾಸ್ಕೃಷ್ಣಯಾಚನ ಮನ ಮೋಹರಾಮಶುರಾಸ್ಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ಚನ ಮನ ಮೋಹರಾಬರಿ ಶೈಷ ಲೋಕ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ನಿದ್ರಚರಿಯುತ ಶೈಷಾಲೋಕ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ನಿದ್ರಚರಿಯುತ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೋರಿ ರಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಯ ಗ್ರೀವಾ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೋರಿ ರಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಯ ಗೋರ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೋರ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋ
Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Devim Sarasvati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraya Tato Jaya Mudiraya Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki we're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 11, chapter number 26, text number 19 and 20 today. We read So we'll chant the Sanskrit for text 19. Petro Kim Swam No Baryaya Swamino Agne Swa Gridrayo, Gridrayo, Kim, Kim, Atmana, Atmana, Kim, Kim, Suridam, Suridam, Iti, Iti, Yo, Yo, Navasishyate, Navasishyate, Pitro kim swam na baryaya 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 Swaminogne swagridrayo Swaminogne Swaminogne Swagridrayo Swaminogne Swagridrayo Kim Atmar Atmana Kim Suridam Kim Atmana Kim Suridam Kim Atmana Kim Suridam Kim Atmana Kim Suridam Iti yo navasishyate Iti yo navasishyate Iti yo navasishyate Iti yo navasishyate Petro kim swam nu baryaya Petro kim swam nu baryaya Swam in okne Svagridrayo Svamino Svagridrayo Kim Atmana Kim Suridam Kim Atmana Kim Suridam Iti Yo Navasishyate Iti Yo Navasishyate 
Pitro Kim Swam Nubariya. Swaminogne Swa Gridrayo. Swaminogne Kim Atmana Kim Suridam. Kim Atmana Tiyo Navashishyate Tiyo Navashishyate Anybody like to chant? Pitra Kim Swam Nupaya Ya Pitra Kim Swam Nupaya Ya Swam in no Gnede Swat Grit Rayo Swam in no Pitro of the parents of the parents Fumu da Kim Weather Shifo Evam the property Sai Cha No or Baryaya of the wife of the wife Sizda Swamina Swamina of the employer of the employer Kujuda Agne Agne of the fire of the fire Huada Swagridrayo of the dogs and vultures. Go Hutchide Kim Weather Shifo Atmana of the soul of the soul. Ling Hunda Kim Weather Shifo Suridam of friends of friends. Pangyoda It is thus Roots Ya Who Shui Na Avashishyate can never decide. Yung Yan Punang Jeting. Tasmin to that. Duina Kalevari Material Body. Uji Chiti Amidya Abominable. Lingren Yan Wuda. To Chaniste, heading toward the lowest destination. Da 
导向最低的目的地。Vishajate becomes attached， 变得依附。阿吼！阿吼！啊啊啊 ！Subhadram, very attractive, very attractive， 非常迷人的，非常迷人的。Sunasam, Sunasam, having a beautiful nose, having a beautiful nose， 有漂亮的鼻子。So smitam, beautiful smile, beautiful smile, 美丽的笑容，美丽的笑容。Cha, and, 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 mukam, mukam, the face, the face, 脸庞，脸庞。Striya, striya, of a woman, of a woman, 女人的，女人的。Translation. One can never decide whose property the body actually is. Does it belong to one's parents, who have given birth to it? To one's wife, who gives it pleasure, or to one's employer, who orders the body around? Is it the property of the funeral fire, or of the dogs and jackals, who may ultimately devour it? Is it the property of the indwelling soul, who partakes in its happiness and distress? Or does the body belong to intimate friends, who encourage and help it? Although a man never definitely ascertains the proprietor of the body, he becomes most attached to it. The material body is a polluted material form. Heading towards a lowly destination, yet when a man stares at the face of a woman, he thinks, "What a good-looking woman! What a good-looking body! What a charming nose she has got!" And see her beautiful smile. Even. 人永远不能决定身体究竟是谁的财产，它属于生他的父母，还是属于给予他快乐的某人的妻子，或是属于对他发号施令的雇主呢？它是火葬场的财产、嗯，还是最终吞食他的柴和狗的财产？它是寓居其中、经历苦乐的灵魂的财产，还是属于鼓励并帮助他的好朋友？虽然。人永远不能明确出、明确的探究出身体的拥有者，却变得最依附他。物质躯体虽是导向低等归归宿、受污染的物质形体，但是当男人凝望女人的脸庞时，就想：好美的女人呐、啊，她的鼻子真迷人，瞧她笑得真美。Purport。The phrase "tucha nishte" or "headed toward a lowly destination" indicates that if buried, the body will be consumed by worms. If burned, it will turn to ashes, and if dying in a lonely place, it will be consumed. By dogs and vultures, the illusory potency of Maya enters within the female form and bewilders a man's mind. The man is attracted to Maya appearing within the female form, 
But when he embraces the, the woman's body, he ends up with two handfuls of stool, blood, mucus, pus, skin, bone, hairs and flesh. People should not be like cats and dogs in the ignorance of bodily consciousness. A human being should be enlightened in Krishna consciousness and learn to serve the Supreme Lord without falsely trying to exploit his potencies. Shi 他会捏着两把粪便,粘液,浓汁,皮肤,骨头,毛发和血肉死去。人不该像猫狗一样沉迷在躯体化知觉的愚昧中,人应该接受Krishna直觉方面的教育,学会服务至尊主,别在重
，然后他爱上了一个天堂的女子 ，Ur Urvasi。Urvasi。Urvasi。So this woman, because she was from the heavenly planets, she couldn't stay with this king, so she had to leave him and go back to the heavenly abode. And so when she left the king, he felt very sorry that she left him. So he was very attached to her body, and he realized in, after she left that actually he was just simply attached to enjoying her body. This king was very attached to her body, and he realized that actually he was just simply attached to enjoying her body. 嗯，当乌尔西离他而去的时候，国王就幡然醒悟，他原来依附的是乌尔西的躯体。So here today he's describing that he was attached to the body, which is actually not worth anything. 所以今天的这个世界呢，这就表明这个国王呢，他觉悟到自己就是依附的是一个根本就不值得的依附的物品。The material body. Is simply made up of the elements of the material nature: earth, water, fire, air, and ether. Oh, 物质身体是由土、水、火、空气、态这个物质元素组成的。And these elements combine together to produce things like bones and blood, and veins and mucus and all different things. 而这五大元素呢，合并在一起呢，便会组合成，嗯，骨骼、毛发、血肉、脓汁、粘液等等。So the actual ingredients of our body are not really attractive; they're horrible things. 我们这个躯体的真正的组成部分呢，根本就不吸引人，实际上是非常令人恶心的。But out of illusion, we become attached to the material body. 出于愚昧，出于幻想，我们却依附于物质身体。So this Pururava, Pururava, this king, he he understood actually this body is it's not worth anything. Pururava 最后就觉悟到，这个身体实际上是不没有什么价值的。After the person dies, the soul's gone. The body is still there. 嗯，当人死去的时候呢，躯体还在那里，但是人却灵魂就已经走了。But what do we do with the body, with the dead body? We, we will either bury it or burn it, or it may be eaten by wild animals in the forest. 嗯，那躯体最终呢，会怎么样呢？或者是被埋葬？或者被火化，或者是被森林里的野兽吃掉。You know, some places, some cust, some different religious beliefs they have different faiths. They do different things. Some people will bury the body, like the Muslim people or the Christian people. 嗯，不同的宗教呢，他们对待躯体呢，采取不同的方式。穆斯林，嗯。和基督基督教徒呢，他们就采取埋土葬。And when when they bury the body, then it's eaten by worms. 躯体被若被埋葬，便被虫子吃掉。And in、uh, the Hindu culture, they or the Vedic culture, the custom is to burn the body. 嗯，根据韦达文化，他们会。Then it will become ashes. 那么身躯体就变成灰烬。And so ashes are not very valuable. 那事实上呢，躯体呢，并不值得，并没有什么价值。You don't. Although people, of course, they like to place the ashes somewhere. They, they think, you know, in honor of their their departed ones. They will spend some money and have their ashes put somewhere. 嗯，虽然虽然有的人呢，他们
，就嗯把所爱的人的呃骨灰呢，会放在一个特定的地方。But actually, ashes are useless. 但实际上骨灰是没有用的。On other places, there's there's some Christian, there's some、uh, religious faith. They they won't burn the body because they consider fire to be sacred. 还有一些宗教信仰呢，他们认为火是神圣的，所以就不会火化躯体。And they would simply leave the dead bodies open for the vultures to come and eat the dead bodies. 他们就把这个死尸呢放在露天，让秃鹰来吃掉它。And If somebody dies in the forest, there's nobody there, or maybe you're climbing a mountain somewhere and you fall in the mountain, you cannot be rescued. Then your body will be eaten by dogs or jackals. 如果呢，人是在森林里，森林里死去，或者是在爬攀登悬崖、爬山的时候，嗯，跌跌落而死去的时候，那个身体呢就会被狗和豺吃掉。So in this way, the king Kururava considered that the body is really not worth anything; it's of no value. Kururava 国王呢，他就意识到了这个身体呢，并不是那么珍贵的。But we're simply thinking the body is there for our enjoyment, for our pleasure. 我们却以为这个躯体在那里就是供我们享乐的。And we we become very attached to the opposite sex for the purpose of our pleasure. 嗯，为了感官享乐，我们非常迷恋依附异性。But this pleasure is simply the illusion of enjoying the material body. 但是这种快乐呢，只是一种享受物质躯体的幻想。So Kurava wants he 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 wants to.、Uh, Come to the proper consciousness to understand that the material body is simply the energy of the Supreme Lord. Hmm. Purava, 呢，他希望能够有拥有正确的知觉，意识到这身体呢是至尊主的能量。And it's meant for the service of the Lord. 应该拿来服务主。We are given the body by the grace of the Supreme. He places us in the body and. That this body is meant to be used in His service. 其实，至尊主的仁慈呢，我们被置于一个躯体当中，那就应该拿这个躯体用来服务主。But because of our contaminated consciousness, we simply think the world is here simply for my pleasure. 由于被污染的知觉呢，我们认为世界是为了供我享受的。And we look at everything for my enjoyment. We don't think about how it's someone else's property. We look at this world, and we think it's for my enjoyment, not for my property. We are thinking this belongs to me, for my pleasure. We think this belongs to me. We are thinking this belongs to me, for my pleasure. We are thinking this belongs to me, for my pleasure. We are thinking this belongs to me, for my pleasure. We are thinking this belongs to me, for my pleasure. We are thinking this belongs to me. So in the verse, that he he gives many examples of different people thinking, who does the body belong to? In this world, he gave many examples of different people thinking, who does the body belong to? The parents are thinking, the parents are thinking, the child's body is my body. The parents think the child's body is my body. The wife thinks I gave birth to the child, so it's my child. 就是妻子认为我生下他了，这就是我的孩子。But the father thinks it's my child. I was the one who placed the 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 sperm in the womb to conceive the child. The child belongs to me. 但是父亲认为是我，就是我给受精的，所以这孩子是属于我的。And when the child grows up, then the child's not thinking I belong to my parents. The child is thinking. Maybe I belong to my friends. 等孩子长大成人呢，他从来不想我是属于我父母的。他认为我属于我的朋友。Or maybe I belong to my、uh, country. 
have a duty to my country. 或者是他认为呢，我对我的国家有义务，我应该服务国家。And this way, we're identifying with the body. We're not identifying with our actual spiritual identity as a soul. 我们就这样认同于自己的躯体，并没有认同于灵魂的真正身份。And so, we have taken birth. In many different bodies, and in each time, we've been thinking, "I am the body. I'm. I. I'm. I belong in this way." We have been in different bodies. We have been thinking, "I am the body. I'm. I. I'm. I belong in this way." The Krishna consciousness is to bring us out of this illusion of the bodily concept of life, to recognize our spiritual identity. Krishna 之前呢，就让我们摆脱这种躯体化的生命概念，让我们来到灵性的层面。Instead of thinking of ourself as just a body which has senses, we think of ourself as a spiritual entity. We. 不应该认为我们是这个物质躯体有，呃，和它的各个感官。我们应该认为我们是灵魂。In the bodily concept of life, we're thinking about preserving the body, how to keep the body looking good, how to educate the body so that we can make money and have a successful life. 在躯体化生命概念下，我们就试图在维系这个躯体。美化它，或者是教育它，让它变得成功。And there's no thought about what will happen at the end of life or what will happen in the next life. 从来不去想当临终的时候会发生什么，或者来世会怎么样。Of course, with the end of the body, then we have to leave everything behind. 当躯体，当这个生命结束的时候呢，我们就必须要放弃一切。All of our Hard work. You may build up a nice empire. You have a nice home. You have nice family members, nice children. Everything. You have to leave everything behind. 那么我们曾经一度拥有的帝国，拥有的家庭，家庭成员，孩子，我们都得撒手。And we don't know where you're going to take the next birth. 而且我们不知道我们的来世会投生在哪里。So this is the ignorance of the conditioned soul. This is 受条件限制灵魂的愚昧 That they never think about the future. They never think about where we go from here. What will happen in the next life? 我们从不考虑未来，考虑我们离开这里以后会去哪里，来世如何 We're only thinking about today, now. 呃，我们只是，嗯，想着当下，眼前。Mm, just like they have that saying in Chinese, is it "Shao Zhuang Bu Nuli Lao Da"? That the young boy didn't want to work when he was young, and so that they told him, "If you don't work now when you're young, you'll regret it later on." 呃，孩子就被教育说，如果你现在不好好努力，等你老了你就后悔了。If you don't study, if you don't go to school and get educated, later on you'll regret it. All that you didn't do these things. 如果你现在不去上学、受教育，等以后你就会为此而后悔。So, so this applies also in the spiritual sense to our own spiritual life that we have to also take care of our spiritual life. 嗯，这也适用于我们的灵性生活。我们要照顾灵性生活。It's not just take care of the body. We have to also think of the soul. 我们不仅要照顾躯体，还要照顾灵魂。So how to take care of the soul? Of course, the soul is nourished by spiritual activities. 怎么照顾灵魂呢？灵魂是被灵性的活动所滋养的。Spiritual activities are centered around. Hearing and chanting. 灵性的活动是以聆听和唱诵为中心。Some people prefer meditation. Meditation is remembering. 有些人更喜欢冥冥想。冥想其实就是意念。So there's also 
meditation comes after you hear and chant. First you need to hear and then you have something to remember. If you've not heard, if you have not heard, then you won't be able to chant and you won't have anything to remember. So we want to learn how to control the mind. And the mind should be focused on spiritual subject matters. We don't want to just only think about the material things of life. So this chapter in the Srimad Bhagavatam is pointing out the importance of association. That we will we reflect the qualities of the things we associate with. You associate with drunkards, you will also become the drunkard. You associate with the gamblers, you will also become the gambler. So in cultivating spiritual life, we need to associate with the devotees, we need to associate with people who have a similar interest. And in the association of devotees, then it's natural there will be discussions of Lord Krishna. There will be discussions of the absolute truth and the spiritual world. Lord Krishna describes the activities in the Bhagavad Gita. He's describing the process of devotional service. So Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita talks about devotional service. That the thoughts of my devotees dwell in me, their lives are surrendered unto me, and they derive great satisfaction and bliss by enlightening one another and conversing about me. So in this way, Lord Krishna is describing Abhidayagyan to Arjuna. He is describing the process of devotional service. So Krishna is describing Abhidayagyan to Arjuna. And similar instruction is there also in Srimad Bhagavatam when Lord Kapila is speaking to Devahuti. His mother had lost her husband. Her husband had gone away and left her, but he left her in the care of her great son, who is an incarnation of God. So she, Devahuti was asked by his mother to enlighten her, to help her to get relief from the attachment which she felt for her husband. So Devahuti So Lord Kapila told his mother, you have to become attached to the sadhus. You have to become attached to hearing the, the topics which they speak. So, so 
Anukramishati. Lord Kapila is describing to his mother the topics of Lord Krishna when heard in the association of devotees are pleasing to the ear and to the heart. Kapila and by hearing in the association of devotees, one's naturally going to progress in their Krishna consciousness. So, Lord Kapila described the different stages which the devotee is going to progress to. Just like Rupa Goswami describes to us the different stages of devotional service. Rupa Goswami describes to us the like this, Rupa Goswami describes that devotional service begins with faith. Rupa Goswami Of course, to have that faith, you must have had some association in the past. Without having the association, you would not have any faith. So we have a we have some faith and we come into the association of devotees. And in the association of devotees we learn how to perform devotional service. Somebody gives you a big bag and they show you how to chant. And then we greet the deities and they say, Oh, now you have to bow down, offer obeisances. And then, Oh, now we're going to have class and we sit and we hear. This is all part of Bhajana Kriya, the activities of devotion. And in the course of doing these activities over some time, then they may suggest to you that you should get initiation. And, and then you go on and get initiation, and then you have to come to the stage of Anartha Nivriti. Means getting rid of all the contamination from the heart. In the heart we have a lot of desires to enjoy the material world. We spoke about some of these things yesterday. We were quoting Queen Kunti. She was telling four things which are a big obstacle to devotion to Krishna. The obstacles are to think we're born in a good family. We're thinking I'm a high class person. The other people, they're all low class, but I'm a high class person. And then another obstacle is thinking, I'm a rich person. Other, these other people are poor, but I'm rich. And then another obstacle is, I'm educated. Educated in all the wrong things, but we're thinking, I'm educated. 
错误的教育，其实他却认为自己很好，教育很好。And the other thing was we're thinking I'm good looking. 嗯，还有一个就认为自己相貌很英俊。Although we have a material body, which is just blood and bones and horrible things, we're thinking I'm very good looking. 嗯，虽然这个皮囊里头包裹着血肉、骨骼、毛发，就这些嗯胆汁粘液，但是我们却认为，你看我长得多好看。And so that the, the obstacles to progressing in Krishna consciousness. 这些就构成了灵修的进步的障碍。So, Guru Rava was describing how the man looks at the woman, and he th- oh he sees the woman, and he thinks, oh she has such a nice nose, oh she has a beautiful smile. Guru Rava 就是在这里描述了这个男子他嗯色迷迷的凝望女人的时候想法哦，你看他鼻子真迷人，你看他笑的真美。And this way, he becomes very attached to the, the what is what he's thinking is the beauty of the woman. 这样呢，他就深深的沉迷他自认为的女人的美丽当中了。So there, there is no real truth in that beauty. 在这这个虚假的美貌下面，没有什么真相。But there's the illusion of the beauty. 这是虚幻的美。And、so to get out of the illusion is the process of Krishna consciousness. Krishna 之觉就是让我们摆脱这种虚幻。To get rid of all the contamination from the heart. 去除内心的一切污染。The lust, the anger, the greed. 色欲、愤怒、贪婪。The envy. The, the the madness which we have to enjoy the material energy, 以及我们希望能享受物质能量的这种疯狂。And sometimes, even though we want to get out of the illusion, we find it very difficult. It's so difficult to get free of this illusion. 虽然我们非常渴望摆脱幻象，但是发现非常难。Because we've been in this material world many times, many lives were very conditioned to think in this way. Because we've been living in this world for many times, many lives were very conditioned to think in this way. Because we've been living in this world for many times, many lives were very conditioned to think in this way. Because we've been living in this world for many times, many lives were very conditioned to think in this way. Because we've been living in this world for many times, many lives were very Enthusiastic to work towards this goal. 为了达到这个目标呢，人必须要下定决心，满腔热情。One has to be convinced about the process of Krishna consciousness. 要对 Krishna 之觉的程序充满信心。Then you have to want to actually make great sacrifices in the path of cultivating spiritual life. 愿意在培养灵性生活方面呢，付出巨大的牺牲。We have to sacrifice a lot of time, a lot of energy to perform these activities. 要牺牲大量的时间、精力来从事这些活动。It takes time to chant Hare Krishna. It takes time to do devotional service. 要唱诵 Hare Krishna 要花时间，做奉献服务要时间。And people often say, "I have no time." 嗯，人们总是找借口，我我我没有时间呐。And、they have time for eating and sleeping and mating and defending, but they have no time for Krishna consciousness. 嗯，他们有充足的时间吃、睡、交配、防卫，却没有时间培养 Krishna 知觉。So they're not willing to make that sacrifice. They they want to use their time for other things. They don't want to make that sacrifice. They want to use their time for other things. So everyone has free will. Krishna gives everyone that independence. Every animal has free will. Krishna gives them this independence. We can choose Krishna or we can choose Maya. We can choose Krishna or we can choose Maya. If we surrender to Krishna, then we're under the control of Krishna. 
。如果我们选择 Krishna， 我们就在 Krishna 的控制之下。We use our time to serve Krishna. 我们就花时间来服务 Krishna. We become a servant of Krishna. 做 Krishna 的仆人。And if we choose Maya, then we give our time to Maya, and we become a servant of Maya. 倘若我们选择 Maya， 我们就把时间奉献给 Maya， 做 Maya 的仆人。We serve our mind and senses. 呃，我们服务自己的心意、感官。So either way, we're the servant. It's just a question of where you want to serve. 无论如何，我们都是仆人，就取决于我们想服务谁了。So Krishna gives us that free will. Krishna 给予我们这种自由意志。There's no question of force. Because then there's no love. 不存在强迫的问题，否则就不存在爱。Krishna wants pure love. Krishna 要的是纯粹的爱。So there's no question of force. 所以没不不会强迫的。We know that some places people force. You're forced to do things you don't want to do, but you have to do it. 嗯，有有时候有地方呢，嗯，人们就会强迫别的人，你必须要这么做。So we do it grudgingly, we do it bitterly, we don't do it happily, joyfully. 嗯，所以是我们是满腹牢骚的，非常不情愿的，闷闷不乐的做的。So devotional service is meant to be done lovingly, joyfully. 奉献服务呢，应该是满怀爱心的，非常喜乐的去做的。Chanting and dancing, and all the activities of devotional service, they're meant to be joyfully performed. 嗯，唱诵和舞蹈，还有其他的活动，都应该是非常喜乐的去做。The nature of the soul is happy. 灵魂的本性就是快乐。In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes Brahma Buddha Prasan Atma, one who knows that they're not the body, one who's understood that they're a soul, then they're a joyful soul. 嗯，就在《佛家梵歌》当中，主 Krishna 说，当人意识到他不是个身体，是灵魂，他就变成一个喜乐的灵魂。If we go out in the streets of Hong Kong, you won't find too many joyful souls. 嗯，如果我们来到香港的大街上，你不会找到很多喜乐的灵魂。You find a lot of souls, but there are a lot. There, they are all bewildered souls. They're lost in the material world, struggling with the illusions. 你会发现很多灵魂。但是他们都是困惑的，在物质世界，在那里苦苦挣扎的灵魂。Struggling very hard with the mind and the five senses. 用心意和五个感官在那里苦苦的挣扎。So that is conditioned life. 这就是受条件限制的生活。Working very hard, and then at the end of life, they don't know where they're going to go. What will be their destiny? 他们辛勤的工作，最终就不知道自己何去何从。But devotee is joyful. He's joyful in this life, and next life he will be also joyful. 奉献者是喜乐的，他在此生是喜乐的，来世也是喜乐的。For the devotee, it is said, "Jiva va mara va sadhu." It doesn't matter if the devotee lives or if they die, because they live to serve Krishna, and when they die, they will go on and serve Krishna. 嗯，据说呢，奉奉献者呢，他们无论活着还是死去都没关系。他们活着在服务，他们死去继续做服务。But for the butcher and the animal killer, it is said, "Don't live and don't die." 嗯，但对于屠夫和杀戮动物的人，嗯，就建议他们不要活着，不要死去。They're living in hell, and when they die, they go to hell. 他们活着时候是住在地狱里，死去也会去地狱。So, devotees is happy in their life. They're happy in 
and their process and the activities of Krishna consciousness. 奉献者们，他们在 Krishna 知觉当中非常喜乐的活动。They're confident of the protection of Krishna in every situation. 他们坚信 Krishna 在任何情况下保护他们。And Krishna's protection doesn't mean there won't be difficulties or problems. There will be problems and difficulties. Krishna 保护并不意味着就没有困难，没有麻烦。There will be problems. 嗯，不意味着就不存在问题，问题会来的。But devotee can pass over all these obstacles because they've taken shelter of Krishna. 奉献者因为已经脱离 Krishna， 他们会跨越这些问题。Okay, so any question? 嗯，所以有没有问题？ Yes. So my question is that. Oh. So something different and the purple. When a man. What's the question? Question is that. Two handfuls of stool. Yeah, two handful. Stool, blood, mucus, pus, skin, bone, hairs, and flesh. Oh, yeah. But the question is what? Why two handful of this? Why two handful? Yeah, two handful of all those things. Well, we have two hands, right? We have two hands, so both hands are full. You don't have a forearm form yet. We now have four arms. 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 就是，但是一到有事情的时候，就还是会忍不住的，会想，就会有那么衣服产生。就我们怎么才能全然不依附这些关系呢？就是让自己只依附会什么，然后就就完全能够契契约这样的一个心态。嗯、mm, ，So Purava is attached to, uh, his wife. Um, we also have some attachment to our, um, family members. Although in theory we know that we are not the body, we are soul. But when the problem, when the trouble comes, there will be attachment to to them. So may I ask, so how to become detached to them? Well, you have to become attached to Krishna. The more you're attached to Krishna, then that attachment will be purified. 这需要培养对 Krishna 的依附。越是依附 Krishna 呢，这种执这种依恋就会被净化。The more you hear and chant about Krish topics of Krishna and Krishna's energy and incarnations, then the less you'll be attached to Maya. 嗯，我们越是聆听和唱诵 Krishna Krishna 的能量 Krishna 的化身，那么对 Maya 的依附就越少。嗯、mm, ，But 
we don't just think only of our own family, the bodily family, but we see everyone, we see them all as souls, part and parcel of Krishna. So the, the more you become Krishna conscious, the less you'll be con so much conscious of the, the family connections. At the same time, devotee is not neglectful. You, it's not that you, you have to give up or go away from the family or not care for them. But we have to think of them also as part and parcel of Krishna. So hearing and chanting is very important. That can that will purify that connection. That you see all of your family members are part and parcel of Krishna. So externally you continue to think of them as your family members and in, as your close relatives and you have some bodily connection with them. But internally, you have to think also that their spirit souls part and parcel of Krishna. So internally, you have to think more on the spiritual platform. You have to see through the eyes of scriptures. So you have to read the scriptures, you have to know what scriptures say, then you can think how to apply these things. Just like we're hearing today about the value of the body. Right, the body is going to be burned one day, it's going to be ashes. But we spend so much time and money on the body. We have to go to the beauty parlor, we have to spend the money on the nails and the skin and the hair and so many things. We'll spend a fortune for this body. Oh, you want to have the color of your eyes changed, you know, you put in a special thing in your eye to change the color. I don't like brown eyes, I want blue eyes. And my hair is black, I want to have blonde hair. So I'll dye my hair. And my hair is all curly, I want to make it straight, so I have to get some thing, make the hair straight. <laughs> Yesterday I was telling people how they spend so much money, they want to lose weight, they will spend a fortune to lose weight. And even skinny people come to lose weight. <laughs> and they spend a lot of money for these things. 
就在这上面花很多很多的钱财。But what is this body? You're spending all this money for the body. What is this body? 花那么多钱，可是这个躯体到底又是什么呢 ？Combinations of earth and water and fire and air and ether. 嗯，是土、水、火、空气、液态的组合。So this is Krishna's separated energy. Is Krishna Krishna's 分离能量 So we want to be more interested, take care of the soul. We hope to 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 take care of the soul. Okay. Hare Krishna, everybody. Hmm. Yana Prabhu, he said, "Hmm, Hare Krishna, 大家好。呃，欢迎大家来到 Eastcon 香港 Eastcon。啊、呃，就经过这么多年。嗯，欢迎大家。呃，希望大家在此愉快。A nice day. Oh, 希望大家在这里待待在这里呢，非常的美妙。这段时间非常美妙。呃，并且很高兴，这过了这么多年，马拉什又再次到访香港。哦，就，嗯，约拿帕布说，嗯，在格鲁尼泰的联谊，呃，嗯，和马尔联谊和彼此的联谊当中呢，大家变得充满的活力，然后回去继续做服务。So as I think you know, for the next week or so, there's different program during the day. 呃，就是这几天呢，都有不同的安排和活动。So today, um, we're having, we're going to a mock program. 今天呢，我们去参加一个家庭活动。The plan is we're going to leave the temple at 10:30. We are 10:30. So if you need to go back to your hotel and do whatever you do, be here by 10:30. 如果大家去嗯回那各自的旅馆，那需要确保就十点半回到这个庙。And don't be late because the temple has ordered a bus, and some of us, some of you will go in the bus, and some will go by public transport. 而且不要迟到，因为已经订好了，就是车、巴士车，还有一些公交。啊，晚上呢？晚上六点半有晚二体之后呢，还让继续给我们讲马克。嗯，所以也请大家准时参加。嗯，大家呢要嗯注意呢，我们住的还是居民区。So be mindful of the neighbors and the lift. 嗯，所以就对邻居呢要友善，然后我们乘电梯也要讲究礼貌。Maybe when you come up, it's okay, but when you go downstairs, you don't have to press the lift button. You can just walk down. So the lift is not, you know, always kept. 我就下楼就可以，我们下去的时候可以走楼梯，嗯，这样呢就可以把楼梯留，呃，不是电梯留给别人。呃，不要给别的居民就是给打扰他们，制造噪音。Just be mindful of of them. 呃，就是也也要嗯意识到他们他们的喜好吧。So of course we're going to have the guru puja and then breakfast. So again, don't spend too much time chit chat because we're going to need to leave by about ten thirty. Ten thirty. Hmm. So we're going to have the guru puja. Then we'll have breakfast. Hmm. 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 Then we'll have breakfast. 保持庙的清洁整洁。Mats, 
我们做的坐垫呢，用完之后要放在这个里面。嗯，早早上曼谷拉提之后呢，就是嗯，这个垫子到处都是。我们就是我们用完之后要把它放回去，就确保这个庙堂呢是非常干干净整洁的。嗯，就是我们这个卫生间有两个外面，然后它那个冲水的坏了，啊，我们得接用桶接水冲。So if in the process of using the bathroom, if the floor gets wet, you can all see there's a mop in the bathroom. Just mop the floor dry for the next person. 哦，就是。嗯，我们用那个卫生间、嗯，如果地上有水的话，我们就用那个外面的抹布把它擦干，这样下一个人进来就不会滑倒了。里面里里面有拖把，里面有些，里面有拖把。哦哦哦，在每个卫生间里面都有拖把。嗯，所以这样呢，就给后面的人一个方便吧。And if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. 呃，如果大家有什么需求的话，就是你不要犹豫，就请那个提出来。呃，就可以，嗯，问像这些帕布们，让他们帮助我们。And volunteer. I think there's a service roster for washing pots and cutting vegetables and things like that. So be mindful of all those things. 嗯，我们在网上也接龙了，就是大家做什么服务，也大家做好自己的服务。Yeah, so be be so、嗯，所以我们要那主动的，嗯，帮助当地的香港奉献者做服务。要补做火计的，杨老庙好准备花环的，还有准备什么？啊，洗涤的火计是吧？洗涤的还是？对，洗涤的，嗯，洗涤的。